All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honor to our apostles and elders. And Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching this word in truth and sincerity. This is Brother Shamar from the GMS SF Bay Camp. And I'm just pretty much making this lesson going in on being more proactive in this truth, pretty much. Because you can't just sit there and, and just expect everything to be done for you. You got to be... You gotta be active on your own because brothers ain't gonna be always be around you 24 seven. Like when you're around the bros, you you know, you get into more of the spirit, you more, be more lively, be more ready to do whatever, really. Cause you're around, you're around brothers, but you gotta have that same energy when you by yourself. You can't just have, have that energy when you're around brothers. You gotta have that energy when you're by yourself as well. Cause nobody else can do the work for you. That's like if you, uh, like a boxer for per se, he wanted, you want to get better at boxing, right? But you don't ever want to train to get better at boxing. You're just watching boxing videos all day. You can only learn so much from watching the videos if you're not actually putting that, putting what you see into, um, into work, into, um, in your action. Because you got to actually do something yourself as well. You can't just expect to to do any to grow get it on a higher level in boxing if you never train you have to actually put in work training in the gym to get better on the higher level and that's the same with the truth you can't just wait to be told what to do all the time it's at a point to where brothers know what to do you should be at a point unless you just came into the truth you should be at a point to where you know what to do without being told what to do all right you watch video brothers watch videos all the time and everything else, we know, we know what we're supposed to do. You know, you're, you're a man of, yeah, you're a man of the Lord. Yeah, how about from Yahweh Shai? You were calling to do this work, so you gotta hold yourself up to a, a certain standard, man. And set a standard for yourself to keep. And then once you're, you're at that standard, and that becomes easy for you, then you raise the standard even more. Like the apostles have been doing for us. It's two videos now a week. All right, and if you're doing your two videos a week, then you should have a higher standard, not necessarily making more videos. That would be good to do that as well. But I'm saying a higher standard as far as doing more for the truth, and for the Akim out there to better edify all the Akim and to, be for, to better yourself. All right, so I'm gonna go into the word proactive. And when you look it up, it basically separates it to, to the word pro and active. So I'm going to go into the, the word pro and it means forward, forth, toward the front, <clears throat> beforehand, in advance, taking care of, in place of, on behalf of, from, from Latin pro, on behalf of, in place of, before, for, in exchange, for, just as. <clears throat> now the word active. The part I want to get is right here from act as capable of acting opposed to passive because you can't just be passive in this truth you got to be aggressive you got to go get it man you can't just sit back being passive and waiting for it to come to you you got to go out there and take it man like for example on the car on the, in the carnal sense right if you see a bad a sexy chick on the street or whatever do you think that she's just gonna come up and talk to you no, she got so many that she's just gonna go about her day. You gotta go get at that bitch just to get her attention. So you can't. It's the same way in the truth because the, um, the scriptures compare this truth to to a woman. So if you wanted a, a attractive woman, you can't just be passive and wait for her to come to you. You gotta be aggressive and go and take it, man. You gotta rape her, all right. So it says, so proactive is being, is capable of acting, capable of acting before, in advance or beforehand. So you're capable of acting before, in advance or beforehand, before you're being told what to do. You should be able, you should already be acting on it. Brothers shouldn't, shouldn't have to tell you like, oh man, you need to do this or you need to do that. You should already be knowing, examining yourself and knowing that, all right, I gotta go, I gotta go harder on this. I'm slipping up on that. I gotta, you know, we gotta tighten up on this. So this should already be crossing your mind because you should be examining yourself as the scriptures say. 
All right, you can't just always be wait. You can't just sit there and wait to be told what to do by other brothers, because it'll get to a point to where they get tired of telling you what to do, because you being so passive, and you and you being passive really will get you just kicked out, man. Kicked out the truth. The spirit will sift you out. All right. Now this is Philippians two and twelve. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed. Not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. And that's how it's supposed to be. When you we we obey the spirit of Yahweh by Shinao Shai when you in the presence of brothers, but you have to be the same as well when brothers aren't around you. Because they they're not there twenty four seven. But you should be in the spirit twenty four seven because the spirit if you're a man of a man of the Lord, a man of Yahweh by Shinao Shai then you should always be in the spirit 24-7, even in the absence of brothers, when you're by yourself. You should still be in the same spirit that you would be in as if you were around the brothers, wanting to do more, wanting to go harder, all right? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah, this is something that you have to, every individual brother has to work out their own salvation, because nobody else can save you, all right? You got to, everybody's trying to get saved through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Nobody can, no one brother in the truth can just save you, say like, I want to save you and just help you and just like grab you and save you. Nah, man, you got to, you got to put in your own work, man. You got to, you got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You got to fear what the consequences of not doing the right thing. Because just because a brothers ain't there to watch you. That don't mean that the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai isn't watching you. And you got to always keep that in mind. Because the angels that are there are watching everything that br that brother's doing is true. Whether it's good or for bad. And we're all going to be judged according to our works. So that shit, like it says right here, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Man, that shit, you should always fear. That fear should make you want to go harder because you should fear the consequences of not doing the right thing. Right. And this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the whole, the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. And what are part of his commandments? Reading, reading the scriptures, or going out on the highways and byways, following the commandments in the scriptures. As far as keeping your beard, not lining your hair, head up, all right, not eating pork, shrimp, all of that, and <clears throat> and but and reading reading the scriptures and studying. How how else will you grow in the spirit if you're not putting any work in? All right, for this is the whole duty of man. We wasn't put on earth to just be a nigga like these other two third niggas out here. You see what that where that gets you. When you're not serving your how about Shimmy Shai, look at all these niggas out in the world. When they're not serving your how about Shimmy Shai, you're just a bugged out nigga, and eventually you get, you're going to get put to death. Where, whereas if you're doing the, when you're whereas if you're serving your how about Shimmy Shai as you're supposed to, you'll be put on a higher level through the spirit, not on a carnal level, but a higher level spiritually, and you're going to be rewarded for those things that you're doing. Alright, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So, <clears throat> so it's everything that we do, whether in secret, alright, outside of what the brothers can see, it's going to, every work, he's, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to bring every work into judgment. So you're going to be judged for good or for evil. So at the end of the day, your judgment is going to either be salvation or destruction, but it's going to be based off of what you do right now, because nobody's putting a gun to your head, forcing you to read the scriptures or forcing you to study, forcing you to go out to camp, forcing you to do anything. So really, if you don't want to do it, then don't do it. But every work that you did, that you do, is going to be brought into judgment. It's going to be brought to light, as the scriptures say. So you would want to choose, you, it would behoove you to do 
some to do good works instead of evil works because you don't you're doing evil works man you, you don't want to receive judgment for that because now you know about the truth and you're gonna, your judgment is going to be twice as bad as it was as if you didn't know the truth so that would so it would behoove you to do do what you're supposed to do man all right for this the whole for the whole duty of man all right do what you're supposed to do serving y'all by shimmy i was shy so with that I'm gonna say all praises again to Yahweh by Shimia Shai, double honor to our apostles and elders, and Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.